Are you wondering if hormone therapy can cause bleeding? Maybe you recently started hormone therapy, uh, whether you're on conventional hormone therapy through a, uh, you know, like a, a typical chain pharmacy, or maybe you're on bioidentical hormones, or maybe you're on pellet therapy. Uh, the question uh, in all these is, can it cause, can hormone therapy lead to uh, bleeding? And the answer is yes. My name is Dr. Terranella, and uh, I treat a lot of patients with hormone therapy, uh, but the goal typically is not to cause bleeding. So if this is occurring, we want to look at why and take a step back and maybe you need a dose adjustment or things like this. Um, in this video, we're going to discuss those things as well as uh, some things to be thinking about with in conjunction with your doctor. You don't want to ignore this. Um, you do want to bring it to their attention. Whoever's prescribing the hormone should know this so that you're not missing things. In this video, we're going to discuss all that. Okay, so I want to talk about whether or not hormone therapy, whether it's bioidentical hormone therapy or conventional hormone therapy, can lead to uh, bleeding, uh, uterine bleeding, and uh, typically we're referring to uh, the type of bleeding that would be unexpected. So you're postmenopausal or you've been uh, not having cycles for a period of time and then all of a sudden you start having cycles. So usually these are women, you know, in their late 40s or uh, early 50s uh, and sometimes if you're starting hormone therapy later uh, in your 60s could happen then too so um, so um, <clears throat> so this can happen this can occur uh, typically occurs uh, as a result of um, too much uh, hormones going into your formula or however you're administering so it could be injections or pellets um, and as a result of too high of your estrogen level um, your uterine lining will start to thicken and then eventually will start to shed uh, and kind of mimic a menstrual cycle now the bleeding can uh, vary quite broadly different than uh, regular menses so it'll come on at more random times. It won't be every month on the on the clock like a regular menstrual cycle would be, um, because the hormones are consistently going into your system. So it's probably going to be more regular bleeding, um, and uh, depending on what's going on with the hormone therapy, uh, it may not necessarily stop. Um, in other cases, it could be just spotting here and there. Um, really depends on how high. Your hormone levels are as a result of the treatment that you're getting um, and typically this is going to be an estrogen thing so uh, if you have really high estrogen you're going to see this if it's counterbalanced with enough progesterone uh, sometimes you can suppress that but really um, you typically wouldn't really want to do that because if you're having that high of estrogen to make your uh, uterus start bleeding again then it's probably too much unless it's just starting at the beginning and your body's getting used to it so um, so you really have to uh, if this is occurring you know kind of take a step back and make sure your doctor knows uh, you want to you know kind of have a get them in the loop because if it's not going away um, which it can if you're just initially starting hormone therapy sometimes it's just your body getting used to it um, but if it's not going away and or your hormone levels are really really high um, then you want to make adjustments so that uh, you're coming back into the you know normal range uh, for for your age and then the other thing is if it's not going away by making adjustments then you need to start looking at what the other possibilities are so um, so other possible causes of uh, uterine bleeding in postmenopausal women um, could be things like fibroids uh, and that can you know get activated too sometimes by the hormone therapy um, and of course cancer can do the same thing uh, infections can sometimes mimic uh, can sometimes uh, give some uterine bleeding um, <clears throat> thyroid uh, imbalance in rare cases uh, can do this too um, not very common and then uh, that's about it uh, sometimes you know if there's uh, trauma to the area through like sexual intercourse or something like that I could do that too um, but those are the main uh, causes of that and so it's not uncommon uh, if you're starting hormone therapy to you know have some bleeding um, we don't typically you know want that to happen but uh, it can happen uh, and you just want to make sure your levels are 
not too high and uh, and then it goes away you know in a appropriate amount of time say you know a month or two months um, and it shouldn't be the whole time uh, so anyways that's uh, kind of the story there so it can cause this whether it's a regular conventional hormone therapy or bioidentical hormone therapy both can cause uh, bleeding so hopefully this answers the question about hormone therapy being a cause of uterine bleeding. Um, as I said, it can be depending on what your situation is. Um, if you have more questions about that, you can post them in the comment section below and I'll try to um, answer those. Um, keep in mind that you know this is kind of a narrow focus on uh, postmenopausal women that are on hormone therapy. There's maybe other causes of uterine bleeding that I didn't cover here, but I did give the most basic ones and you shouldn't ignore this if it is happening. Don't just assume it's so the therapy and it'll go away. Uh, you definitely want to bring your doctor into the loop. But if this type of content is helpful and you like this format, the shorter type of uh, question and answer, um, please click on the like button. That'll help me to determine if uh, these are the types of content that you like most. Um, there is, you know, obviously a little more elaborate uh, things we can go into with hormone therapy of various sorts for uh, younger females, males, etc. <clears throat> so um, if you like this type of content about diet, hormones, and different um, supplements and things like that, please click on the subscribe button. I uh, will be posting more videos very soon, and we'll see you next time.